Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, we're about four days removed from UFC 132. So quick results are going to be this. We got Melvin Gillard um, in the prelims over Stropolis and pretty much a, no, they called, I think they called it a TKO or a KO. But yeah, Melvin, he, uh, after the fight, he's like, put me in the card in October. So I hope they do. I mean, that was a pretty good knockout. Um, about f I think 57 or 59 seconds in, and um, so th but that was prelims. Uh, main card. Main card was amazing. Uh, Bader lost to Tito, and the, obviously these the, this is not in any order. So Bader lost to Tito in about one minute 57 seconds, when uh, Tito just dropped him with a big right, and then. Guillotine and Bader tapped, and uh, that was an amazing fight and one that Tito had to win to stay in the company, and he's sticking around for all the Tito fans. You should be happy. Um, uh, Lieben and Silva. Just if you blinked, you missed it. Twenty-seven seconds, and I I think I counted about seven or eight. Um, uppercuts and Silva was done. And after um, after the um, the whole pay per view press conference, Dana was like, "Yeah, I think Silva's going to be done, and I'm going to try and convince him the the Chuck Liddell way." I mean, I didn't agree with those comments, but you know, maybe he's right, man. After that kind of showing, I think you need to hang it up because he's got nothing left to prove. Faber and Cruz, that was a bell-to-bell -bell perfect match. I mean, to, for every punch and hold that Cruz, or the, sorry, that Faber had, Cruz had something to come back with. And it was, honestly, I would not, I think uh, Dana was right when he said he wouldn't want to be a judge for that, that bout. And neither would I. <clears throat> yeah, so Cruz ended up winning that. Um, Seaver ended up winning over uh, Willman, and um, even though C I think Seaver kind of got really messed up with a that elbow, but ended up still winning. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, you know, it goes how it goes. Um, Dong Young Kim got really messed up with a. Uh, a flying knee from uh, Carlos. So yeah, Carlos took that, and he also took a what was it, knockout of the night? I think Carlos took. Yeah, and um, Cruz took fight of the night, and submission of the night went to Tito. So all those guys got seventy-five grand for their uh, of the nights. And so yeah, other than that, that's how it went. So. Hopefully, the uh, next thing coming up is going to be, I believe, the, um, the 14th. That's, I believe, a versus. So that's going to be on TV. So that'd be good. Um, Chael Sonnen, back in the game after that long, long suspension and uh, money laundering, all that stuff. So I'm happy to see that. Um, he, he officially got reinstated on the 29th of June and he's looking for a fight according to uh, UFC Connectus which is formerly MMA Connectus uh, what else happens um, Nate, Nate Moorcourt done, gone um, something about um, some therapy some gene, not gene therapy but um, testosterone thing going on, I don't know a lot of people are saying that it's cheating, and I don't know too. I don't know too much about it to say, uh, but Nate, man, he's a good fighter. Hopefully, he can recover from this and get a spot in the in the UFC again because I think he's got a lot of time left. You know, 
So hopefully that all happens. Uh, let's get on to some WWE. CM Punk at it again with a uh, rant in uh, Australia. Um, apparently, um, sits kind of some kind of gay slur. I read the transcript and I also saw the video on YouTube. Where was the gay slur? Seriously. I mean, in the in the transcript it said hobo, but in the uh, video it clearly comes out as homo. So I don't know what's going on there. I think it's just, um, and Punk apologized. So I don't know if this is him trying to generate too much heat for himself or him just being pissed off that he's at this point of, in the company where he is and doesn't like a spot where he is. And he's on his way out in a couple of weeks after Money in the Bank. Speaking of Money in the Bank, he is reinstated. So the uh, match with Cena is back on. But so that leaves uh, Alberto Del Rio kind of in, in limbo. I mean, Del Rio had a spot in the Money in the Bank match, but then beat R Truth and, and Ray. And so, where do you put Del Rio now? I mean, I'm, I'm sick and tired of Del Rio being promised title shots and not getting them. That's what I'm sick of. Because Del Rio really, really needs a title right now. I think. But yeah. And another thing that I want to see happen at Money in the Bank is an all divas Money in the Bank. I mean, you got a SmackDown Money in the Bank, you got a Raw Money in the Bank, and you got a Divas title. So put all the girls in Money in the Bank. I think what WWE's problem is they they're so wrapped up in this PG bullshit that they forget that a lot of those girls may not look tough, but they are tough, and they can handle a ladder match. I mean, it's better than having just a BS one-on-one, -on -one or like freaking Kelly Kelly versus one of the Bellas yet again. I mean, come on, think about it. Anyways, that is it from me, my friends. Uh, hope you like this video. Comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Adios.